out this video. I really appreciate the support. I think I start like every video saying the same kind of thing. I'll try to change it up a little bit from now on, I promise. Uh, my name's Chris, and I am basically going on a journey right now to better improve my life. That means physically, mentally, emotionally, the works, basically. So lately, I've been doing a free trial at nine round, and I've actually just decided to join the gym, and it has been... A blast I'm enjoying it a lot nine round is basically kickboxing style training punching lots of kicking lots of aerobic kind of stuff but lots of punching I am getting so much stress relief from punching things in a constructive way <laughs> however having not exercised a whole lot in the months leading up to that you get so sore so what I'm gonna talk about in this video today is how to help my body recover and just kind of keep everything running smoothly as it can. Yeah. There's basically like four main things that I've been really watching. And I don't want to say that, you know, I don't have a checklist somewhere that's like every day I got to look at this and this and this and this and this. I mean, I'm just not that kind of person. A lot of it's just kind of like a subconscious thing. I just know that I need to make sure that my body is fueled with the right nutrition or supplements if it has to be supplements which i have quite a few if i'm feeling some tightness somewhere i do some stretching if i'm experiencing pain somewhere i'm not ignoring that whereas former chris would have just kind of brush it off because i'm like oh no if i if i start babying this thing then i won't go to the gym no i need to do what i can to fix things so i can be more active in the gym and finally the last thing that i'm doing is making sure i get a lot of rest because especially now being a beginner to doing a lot of this exercise my body really needs that time to rest and it tells me so as far as nutrition goes i've told you before i'm trying to eat a lot healthier i just saw spit come flying out of my mouth there hopefully you guys didn't see that because i'm keeping it in i like to be honest so i'm going to talk about real quick some of the supplements that i've been using to try to help my body uh, make this transition in, into being healthier and the things that I know I'm not getting enough of. So there's three things that I take every morning with about eight ounces of water because I think that starting your day with water is a necessity because you're not getting any hydration overnight. If you're like me and you're living in a house that's really hot, you're losing a lot of water overnight, not from bedwetting. First up, multivitamin. You see men's multivitamin, women's multivitamin. I don't really care. It's just, I, I just need a multivitamin that's going to give me some of those things that I don't get uh, regularly because I, I'm going to say I don't like a lot of vegetables. I don't like a lot of fruit. I've been trying to eat more. I know I don't get enough. So a lot of the things that I'm missing, I'm going to get through this. So another thing that I've been doing is looking into the prescriptions that I'm taking. Some of the things that are being depleted from my body are a lot of the B vitamins, especially B12. So I've added um, some extra B12 on top of the multivitamin that I'm taking. This makes sure that I am making up for those B12s that I am losing by taking my prescription medications, which I cannot go off of because I can be an asshole if I don't have my anxiety medication. Fish oil, I take one of these in the morning, I take one at night. I feel like this stuff's really important. It's really good for your heart really good for your joints and those are the two big reasons I take it. At night along with the fish oil I'm also taking some extra magnesium. I've had a lot of sleep problems in the past. I was medicated for a long time. This has been really helpful. This has helped me sleep a lot more. So there's a few more things I do on workout days aside from you know sometimes I'll have whey protein and stuff but I'm not trying to build muscle right now. I'm just trying to burn fat. The big thing that I usually take before going to the gym is a pre-workout drink. Right now I'm using Genius Pre from Genius Labs. The reason I'm using this one is specifically because my body doesn't handle caffeine very well. Most pre-workout drinks have tons of caffeine and I can't do that if I'm working out in the afternoon or the evening. If you're like me and your body has trouble handling caffeine, this has been great for me. And I don't know if they have specifically different flavors of this kind. This one is a grape limeade which might sound kind of weird, but it's actually delicious, and I love this thing. The last thing I'm going to talk about, um, and especially has been helpful lately since uh, my muscles are getting a lot more of a workout than they're used to, is taking some good amino acids after a workout. This one is from BPI Sports. This is Fruit Punch. It's really good. I've also had a watermelon flavor from them that has been amazing. So as far as stretching goes, I'm not going to show all the stretches that I do, 
but I will make a video separately from this sometime and run through the normal stretches I tend to do after a workout. That's mostly going to be my back and my legs. Basically, my lower back, my middle back. Um, as far as the legs go, I mean, I'm getting everything, even my feet. So I have an issue where I overpronate quite a bit because I have super flat feet. And so my feet are sore a lot of the time. Stretching that out is super helpful for me. So that actually brings me to the next topic that I wanted to bring up, which is paying attention to your pain indicators. Like I said, I have problems with my feet. They're very flat. I got to a point where I was walking a lot because I used to not have a car and I would walk to and from work about a mile and my feet were hurting so bad. And it felt like the best way I can describe it was it felt like a little piece of rock or shard of glass floating around inside my foot. It wasn't a constant stabbing pain. It literally felt like something was on the inside of my foot rolling around. So I even thought maybe I had a bone spur at first. It turns out it's the tendons and things like that being stretched because my feet are over pronating so bad. I've also had a lot of problems with my lower back. It has been a problem for almost two decades now. So it's definitely something I have to be wary of and pay attention to. I used to not pay enough attention. And so I would be in the gym lifting weights. And I can't tell you how many times I have pulled the muscle or strained it or severely sprained it. I've had that happen a few times. This time around, I'm paying so much attention to this stuff because I don't want it to keep me down again because I could use it as a crutch. It could be an excuse not to work out and I don't need that. The third thing for me that I've noticed is uh, sometimes when I'm doing certain exercises, I can feel my left shoulder pop. If I feel popping, that means my form is incorrect or I'm using too heavy of a weight and I need to tone it down a little bit. So sometimes it's as easy as paying attention to what hurts and adjusting things so that you're not putting too much pressure or too much strain on those areas like I was talking about with my shoulder. Sometimes you need more than that and you need to go get actual help from a doctor or a physician. For my foot, as an example, I went in, I had it looked at by a podiatrist. What I had to do was get custom made orthotics to be put into my shoes and I have to pay attention to the kind of shoes I get. So for my back, and I recommend this for everybody, regardless if you have back problems or not, go to a chiropractor at least once. The first session that I had, once I stood up and he asked how I felt, I started laughing. I'd never felt so good in my life as far as my back goes. So I would definitely recommend going in at least once, getting an adjustment, having your back checked out, making sure everything is aligned right, because that is gonna be a great way to prevent having any kind of back injury, especially if you're prone to it. Plus, it just feels awesome. So the last thing I wanna talk about is relaxing. I'm having to do a lot of that since I'm starting all of this new workout kind of routine. Just sleeping isn't enough for my body, and I know that. I'll take an extra hour in the day to lay down and read a book or, or read, and I say book, it's not like I'm reading a book. I'm reading comics, come on guys. I've been catching up a lot on Marvel Comics, because they went through a period where I feel like their comics kind of sucked. They started getting back into the game a little bit. A lot of the current X-Men titles, X-Men Red, X-Men Blue has been excellent. The best book that I think they have right now is Champions. Or even just sit down for a while, play your favorite video game. I've been playing a ton of Overwatch lately. I've been doing Season 11 competitive. It's not like I'm great, you know, I'm, I'm in silver in that ELO hell trying to get to gold. We'll see how that works out. If you play Overwatch, let me know. I'm playing on the PlayStation Network because I'd just be interested in knowing what platform you're playing on, how you're doing, what characters you're into because I am absolutely junk rat main. This season, I've been trying a lot of Mercy, Moira, Brigida. I love Brigida so much. One last thing that I've been doing a lot is reconnecting with the outdoors. I mean, being a gamer, being kind of a comic book nerd. I've never been that outdoorsy, but I'm living in a house right now with no AC. Even though it's Minnesota, it does get hot. So I've been spending more time sitting out on the deck, just kind of sitting in the breeze and just enjoying it. And, you know, not really even having to do much. Maybe I'll listen to some music or, or listen to a podcast. I've been listening to Broadswords lately. It's really cool. It's these four ladies basically doing a D&D &D campaign and you're just kind of listening to the campaign as it goes. And I love it a lot because I just love RPGs. Find something that you can just sit or, or lounge around and, and just do for a while and just give some time to yourself, time to let your mind relax and just explore let your body just sit for a while and, and not be asleep. All right, so that's all I really have to say for today. Thank you again for watching this video. I will continue to keep posting videos. I'm trying to post once a week. Also check out my Instagram page. There's a lot of updates and other content that you can get there that I don't have on my YouTube channel. Check that out if you really wanna keep up with me. Also, if you haven't before, listen to my podcast, which has nothing to do with this stuff. It's called Saturday Morning Cartoon Boom. Me and my co-host Joseph take requests on 
different cartoons to watch. It doesn't matter if they're old, if they're new. We'll review it and we talk about it. Each episode's really fun. We've had nothing but five star ratings on iTunes and things like that. So I really think if you guys like me, you'll like the show. I hope. Seriously, like the show. I'll give you a dollar. I don't have a dollar. I'll give you an e high five. Yeah.